Well, I guess this is a first impression video. Well, to make it short, I was at Walmart today, grocery shopping, and I decided to stop in and check out the Yu-Gi-Oh aisle, or what's left of it, since it's mostly filled with um, Pokemon trading cards now, but I stumbled across a box of My Little Pony collectible card game, which is really a TCG, though it's, it's a weird one. I spent about an hour reading the rules, and I'm still not sure I completely understand it, but... The basics, I guess, is that the game is comprised of six kinds of cards. You have your main pony, and the only way to get the main ponies is to buy the starter decks, because they don't come in any of the booster packs. You then have your friend cards, which are which have a c action token cost, because every the start of every turn you get action tokens, and how many you get is based on the highest score between the two players. And you have to pay up tokens to play a friend card, either at home or on a, a problem card, and you have to meet a power requirement, potentially, as well, which will be inter which will be underneath the cost icon. And in the top corner, you'll, it'll be the card's power itself, which is, you can use to apply to solve a, to confront a problem. You then have the, the main focus of the game is the problem cards. The goal of the game is to score 15 points. And you score points by either by confronting problems. And you get, I guess you get more points if you um, face off against a problem. Because both you because you, both you and your opponent can't both try and confront a problem simultaneously. Or, or something weird like that. But it's, 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 it's strange. You'd have to look at the rule book. And I, I probably would... Just looking at videos on YouTube, but some, but one of the few videos I came across that tries to explain it. It's about 40 minutes long. I had their comments in there with people complaining that he's not properly representing some of the rules. So I, I don't know if I'd recommend it. Maybe you should go to Equestria Daily or something. And then you got your um, troublemaker cards, which you can use to prevent an opponent from being able to confront a problem until they manage to face off against your troublemaker successfully. This can also force your force uh, force your opponent to send cards back to their home, and then have to pay to move them back to a problem again. So these can be highly useful. They also have effects too, which can really irritate your opponent. And then your other two types of cards are um, event cards, which can be played at different times based on the what the card says. Like you can have cards that go into effect at the main phase or a problem face-off reaction. And I'm sure there's others, but the starter deck only has car uh, and that and those two categories. At least the one I picked up from um, Rainbow Dash and Rarity th as the theme. And then you got resource cards, which can be played at, I guess, at different times also. Though they seem that well, most of them seem to. You also can play them on different cards too. Like play play to your home or play on a friend, and seem to have varying effects like increasing power of a card or reducing how many how much points you need to confront a problem on a card. Though, I guess since I I'm not I'm sort of wandering around. We'll if we take a closer look at the problem cards. We'll notice that on the bottom part you have you'll usually have numbers which will represent certain types of power. So if you have say two pink then two pink plus two pink crossed out it means you have to have two pink energy and then two non pink pink energy from your associated allies on that card in order to confront the problem successfully but your opponent's number is represented on top with the upside down five they only have to have five power total on that card in order to confront the problem successfully and the first person to confront the problem successfully gets a plus two bo two points like I said, the only way to win the game is to score a total of 15 points. So uh, I guess that's so that's why I'd say it's more like Full Metal Alchemist TCG to a degree. Because in that game you had to score a total of nine nine clue points for to get to the closer to the Philosopher's Stone. In this game you got to score 15 points for solving problems or managing to success, successfully take out troublemakers because you get points for defeating them as well. 
that's about it. I mean, I don't know how to feel about the game itself, because I haven't played it, and I don't know if my brother would seriously buy a deck in order to play this game. I mean, I had to spend like $11 and something odd amount of cents to buy this. So, I guess a starter deck, which you'd need to buy, because you have to have a main pony in order to play, you're, insta you're already going to be at 12 bucks. <sighs> Just about... And if you want to try collecting all the main ponies, you'd have to buy, let's see, well, each starter deck comes with two main ponies, then I guess two of them, two of the main ponies were sequentered off into a combo starter pack, so it would be about 20 bucks, so you'd have to spend about $40. But the starter deck does come with all you. Starter deck does come with all you need to play. Not that it gives you anyone to play with, but it gives you enough to play the game, like all good starter decks do, right? Unlike the um, Naruto TCG, which only gave you, which would give you two starting decks, but you'd need to combine them in order to have a deck worth you could actually play with against someone else. Then again, I don't think the Naruto TCG took off too well, and I don't know how well this one will do. I mean, there's a lot of bronies out there, don't get me wrong, but how many people are going to really want to pick up the collectible card game? I mean, how many bronies are also TCG players? And I mean, it's it's not as fun as playing a TCG. I don't know if it'll be as fun as like Yu-Gi-Oh! or something where you can take out enemy monsters. I mean, there there is a joy in crushing your opponents. I mean, do you really want to say, oh, I solved... I solve all Equestria's problems. I'm a champion problem solver. Take that, my opponent. 